Hi Aries, welcome to a special reading covering the period of early October through the end of December 2022, the rest of the year. Um, this is a manifestation reading. What is it that you want to bring into your reality? And I will explain the positions after I have laid out these cards. Oh, I got the same position as Sag. Very nice. I'm getting some really good vibes from these readings so far. It's the third one I've done. I started with the fire signs. What you want to manifest? Eight of Pentacles. Um, some of you are either thinking about training for something specific, so you have a s specific set of skills, or you are... Um, looking to do something where you're, um, yeah, I mean, it could even be like, it does, this shows something that's almost like a craft, you know, something physical, but it could be, you know, somehow getting credentials in something or, you know, going through that process of being an apprentice, starting, you know, if you've already gotten the training that you want to, refine what you're doing. Um, this is a card that is associated with money too, because, um, pentacles can be money and the eight is the um, material power of money, I would say. So that can be very impressive for manifesting, um, large sums of money. Um, but at least improving that in some way. And, but with skills, it, it might be that you're like, you know what, I'd like to start a business, but I don't really, there's something I want to do, but I don't really feel like I, I have what it takes yet. So that idea of training, but, but Aries is very, you know, cut to the chase. So this idea of this lengthy, <laughs> training and, and all of this might not be appealing to you because you just want to get what you want to get. Once you get that idea in your head, you may just want it to manifest. Um, so why are you, you know, why do you feel that way? We have the seven of cups and you may be going through a period of confusion and this might be, for instance, um, Last few years, I don't remember exactly when it started, but Chiron went into Aries. It might have been, might have been like 2018. I don't remember, but uh, Chiron is a an asteroid um, that influences that that um, speaks to to our wounds. Now, when it's transiting, it's going to make us sensitive in those areas, whatever house it's in, whatever sign it's in. So when it's in your sun sign, then who you are becomes a source of pain, if you will. But I'm, you know, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but there's a little bit of sensitivity around that. And, but it can also be the healer because, you know, Chiron is a wounded healer. So it could be that you want to train um, with something of a spiritual nature, a healing arts, type of thing. And this is the, the seven of cups is connected to Neptune. So that has to do with Pisces energy and you have Neptune in its own sign, its own house, the 12th house. So that might be influencing you as well. That's been hanging out there for 10 years. So, um, some Aries people are starting to soften up a little bit. And what that can mean is not only having a less combative attitude in life and also this kind of, you know, overly competitive vibe where it's just like me first. I mean, that's kind of the Aries motto is me first, but kind of more 
you know, gentler, kinder and gentler <laughs> and, um, improving or uh, increasing your intuitive abilities and, um, not needing that outward show of, oh, wow, I'm successful because of this and that, but really that sense of like, I'm succeeding because I'm helping others, you know, and that's more of an altruistic thing. So that could be an influence from you as well. But for some people, it is going to be that you don't know who you are. And so you're looking for something, it might be systematic with the aid of pentacles that makes you feel like if I color, you know, I had this thing called paint by numbers. If I paint by the numbers, I'm going to, you know, you know, if I play by the rules and I jump through the right hoops, I'm going to be able to get this piece of paper that's going to make me feel like I know who I am. When in fact, that might not be your correct path might be i'm not saying it's totally impossible but just keep that in mind that you know to to keep your mind open to all possibilities and actually with the seven of cups this can be a card of wishful thinking so you may be trying to do something according to how the world would have you do it and it just isn't necessarily for you so just see how things gel. If they don't seem to gel, like if you're the eight of pentacles and you're trying and trying to make something happen that isn't happening, um, like that, that I'm getting that vibe from that card too. So if you have Mars in Aries or Taurus, believe it or not, uh, you may have, um, that tendency to just kind of impose your will on the universe. And it's like, okay, good luck with that because you can only, you might succeed, but then you might not be happy. You might not be fulfilled. So just keep that in mind. What you can do to facilitate your desires or to manifest them. One of them is related to the full card. Um, do something completely, utterly different in your life. Uh, maybe you have been following this, like I said, paint by numbers lifestyle, and you need to kind of step off of that track. Uh, the full card is connected to the planet Uranus, which is about doing your own thing. It's kind of like waving your freak flag, but it's also zero. So it's zero point. So it's like totally rebooting your life. And Aries people would be down for that. But of course, you know, timing is everything and you have to take into consideration everything else that is going on. I mean, if you have kids, you have to consider them or a spouse. You can't, but even if you're single, you may have bills to pay. You may have other things. So you have to, your impulse may be just to take off on some wild journey. But if you get your ducks in order, then you can do it more um, in a more like peace, um, peace filled way where you're not like, Oh my God, I just quit my job and I have $10 in the bank, that kind of thing. That's not, you're not going to be able to enjoy the adventure as much. Um, <laughs> and the queen of wands, this is a card of cheerful leadership and, you know, that sense of, but I think, you know, with the queen of wands, it can be, um, taking leadership over yourself. Maybe you have been involved with somebody The seven of one of uh, cups can be addiction. If you have been trying to take care of somebody who has some kind of a substance abuse problem and it's been draining your energy and you haven't been able to follow your dreams, the manifestation isn't just about abracadabra. It's about what is going on in your life that is helping or hindering your ability to live a life of your dreams, or at least a life that feels more aligned with your purpose. I mean, your dreams, that's, that would be the ideal, but I mean, in that direction, at the very least, you know, what are you doing? Are you doing things that, um, help or hinder that? And 
for some people, they are involved with people who drain their energy because they have a lot of problems. And helping people isn't just about uh, taking care of them. Now, sometimes it is about taking care of people. It's not engraved in stone what it is. But if you find that you're doing it and it's a pattern and you think that you might be codependent, even though you're an Aries, it seems like hard to believe, but definitely, you know, Aries is right by Pisces. And so you can have inner plants from Pisces that makes you more like that. Um, being able to feel good about being your own person and being independent and not feeling like you're doing something wrong, like you're guilty for any reason. What's coming in is the 10 of wands. And this is a card of carrying a large burden. It might be working overtime. Perhaps you're working for a specific goal. And that's why you're doing this because you know that you're going to have this wonderful um, situation that happens. But you have to kind of, it's like going through the fire. The wands are connected to fire energy. And sometimes we have to go through the fire to get to that other side. And the other side is a very chill, nice side. The outcome card is the nine of pentacles. This is enjoying um, the, the material abundance. Um, this is a card of self-sufficiency when it comes to material matters. So that may speak to exactly what it is that you're trying to attract, but this may be that you're, the number 10 is about the end of a cycle. So maybe you have to do this grand finale, which where you're like, it's like crunch time and you're working and you're doing it. And then you get to let go of it. So Aries people tend to have a lot of energy, so I think that you're up for the task if it's if that resonates with you. But in any case, it's really great. Uh, I hope that you resonate with this, Aries. If you would like a private reading, uh, the link is below. Take care. Bye.